Right, everybody. So a couple of people have asked me to um, do a video in daylight because obviously the other one's quality wasn't brilliant at night. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do now. I've already explained the uh, details of the bike. I'm just going to have a uh, just quick look at it in daylight with better light, of course. Again, with my owl plates. One of my mates has told me to take them off, but uh, no thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Not just yet. Only once I've done my practical. Um, yep, I've been doing my daily checks, uh, well, my um, pre-journey um, pre checks really, uh, before I've gone out. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is a 14-litre uh, engine, I'm quite impressed with that. Um, I've, only, I've only used a little bit of uh, a petrol. Right, let's, um, let's just start her up a second, just give me a minute. Alright, let the uh, fuel injector thing do its thing. Um, before it was a, a red backlight, that's at night, you can actually see my mileage there, it's uh, 40 miles that I've done there, uh, the neutral lights on obviously, and um, that's the, uh, the revometer, it's a digital speedo as you can see, um, it can be um, a little bit misleading towards, <laughs> if, you, if, if you don't keep an eye on it, it can really jump up without realising, but I'm sure that's just me being a bit of a noob and uh, not keeping on my speed. Let's uh, just start her up. Uh, there we go. I have already just took her out, so uh, it's naturally um, it's all warmed up and everything. We only just got back really from uh, being uh, taking a little journey out. Let's give some revs. Beautiful engine, definitely just breaking it in at the moment, so I'll be able to go, uh, be able to go well over 8,000 eventually. Be able to hit that bloody danger zone there. Yeah. Anyway, um, I will definitely do a ride video at some point, as I mentioned before. Should turn her off and push in and lock for now. Um, so yeah, definitely more to come. That's my daylight video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.